Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a Commander Deck Tech today from the USAG Weisbotten Commander League. This is a really cool deck. It's Land Go. It's got a beautiful commander for it, and it's really a classic control deck. This reminds me a lot of the old Draw Go decks where you would simply put land into play, get overwhelming card advantage and resource advantage over your opponents while stopping them from doing everything that was important. In Commander, this is a very difficult thing to do. Controlling the board with four players is very difficult. You have to use board wipes and try not to draw too much attention early on. Reed Duke has a wonderful article on control and contrasting it with your other pillars of magic, which are really tempo and aggro. I'm gonna go into that in another video, but let's jump into this particular deck. The commander here is a wonderful legendary merfolk that every time you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may put three plus one plus one counters on target land you control. If you do, it becomes an elemental with haste. So it basically becomes a three, three creature. And as you'll see in this deck, there's a huge number of instants and sorceries and very few creatures in this deck. This is a very reasonably priced deck to build. It's about $700 to $400. There's about three or four cards, including a Mana Drain, which was a recent addition to this deck that bring up the price a little bit. But this could also easily be done on a budget. Most of the cards here are very easy to trade for very reasonably priced Commander deck. It has some very strong utility lands. One of my absolute favorites here is Core Haven. Core Haven acts as a fog for a particular attacking creature. Great political card overall. It also has some lands that become creatures themselves, so you don't necessarily need your commander out. You can win with other lands. Muda Vault is one of those lands that the interaction of being all creature types means that it can do a lot of crazy things. It's well worth playing an EDH in a multiplayer setup. This deck has some specific cards for protecting those lands. Sacred Ground and Terra Eternal are two great cards there. It means that you're not going to get hit by Armageddon. Your lands, your creatures are going to live. Additionally, this deck clearly is tuned to beat decks that are trying to beat you on commander damage. It has a lot of one casting cost and two casting cost removal, which is very important in a little bit more of a competitive environment. In a casual environment, you normally don't want a one for one people, but if individuals are coming at you with 21 points of commander damage, it's very nice to be able to turn that commander into a 3-3 ape or a 3-3 green frog lizard at instant speed. Path to Exile is beautiful removal and Reality Shift is one of those pieces of tech that I hadn't seen before in a commander deck really, and I like it a lot because it's blue, instant speed exile removal. Additionally, you've got your classics here. Capsize is one of the best removal spells ever created. Just having capsize in your deck makes your whole play group consider sack outlets and ways to stop you from buying this amazing card back. Additionally, this deck is very heavy on board wipes. My favorite of those board wipes was Tragic Arrogance. In EDH, Tragic Arrogance is a powerhouse. Wonderful card. You've got your classic Wrath of God here and Supreme Verdict. You've also got Planar Outburst, which plays perfectly into the strategy of the commander. I also like that there's an inclusion of Quicken here. Quicken may often just cycle, but when used with a board wipe, it can just blow people out. Perilous Vault is also another very reasonably priced board wipe that gets overlooked a lot in EDH. There's an Isochron Scepter here, and this is a powerhouse. Put an Azorius Charm or a Brainstorm or a Mana Drain on this, and you just get to reuse those cards again and again and again. Even if you only get one or two uses out of the cards, 
you often get value there, but if it sticks around for a few turns, you start to overwhelm the table with some massive card advantage or extra mana in the case of Mana Drain. There's ramp in here and blue and white are not very good at ramping. So the ramp in this deck is heavily artifact based. I liked the Hedron Archive in particular in here. Yes, it's a forecasting cost soaring, but when you don't need it, you're drawing two extra cards wonderful card overall. Commander's Sphere and Azorius Signet also help you with some of those high casting cost cards that have specific color requirements. The Creature Suite in here is really alternative win conditions that work well with your base group of creature lands. The Tide Caller in particular gives your lands flying, but the Mentor, Heliod, and Talron are all wing conditions all by themselves. And then Weathered Wayfarer here allows you to search up any of those utility lands. This is one of those cards that I love putting in almost every white EDH deck because it lets you go get non-basic lands, bring them directly into hand. You start hitting your land drops every time and you get the utility lands you really need. There's a lot of draw in here. Blue has the absolute best draw in the game. Dig Through Time and Treasure Cruise are banned in almost every other format, but you can play them in EDH. Future Sight is another great card. I really like how Future Sight interacts with some of the instant speed draw cards, especially Brainstorm. You can put something like a Counterspell back on top of your library and cast it from there, getting card advantage. And then Compulsive Research just really hits the theme of the deck very, very well. There are a lot of answers in here. The casting cost is lower on this deck, which is a sign of a very competitive deck. Misdirection, Stifle, Overwhelming Denial, and then Cyclonic Rift, which often is overloaded to just win. All of these cards I really like. Stifle at one casting cost surprises a lot of people in EDH. Personally, I like Trickbind at two, so it can't be countered, but Having one blue open means most people don't realize that you've got a counter spell. There's some really cool hidden tech in this deck. The Mystic Speculation, which is Scry 3 buyback, when combined with a commander that's turning your lands into creatures, is very, very powerful. And Scry 3 in an EDH deck should not be underestimated. That's a lot of really good card selection. It's often better to get to that fourth or sixth card than to have drawn an extra card. We also have Teferi's Response. This is a card that I have played in Legacy. It can be a complete blowout. Counter target spell or ability that an opponent controls. If it targets a land you control, your win conditions are lands. This is a beautiful two casting cost counter that has draw two on it. Not draw one, draw two. This is like Cryptic Command on crack that counters activated abilities. It's perfect for this deck, wonderful tech in here. I've also got Contested Warzone and Mirror Weave. Really cool little combo there. Stealing individuals, creatures, any of those that have plus one, plus ones on it, or just turning them into zero zeros is also nice. The Warzone is not the type of card that I would have put in here initially, but I did see it used to great effect. I like that this deck is brewing and playing some cards that you don't normally see in EDH. If you like this video and you want to steal great ideas from others, you should definitely subscribe to the channel. I've got about seven or eight more commander deck techs coming out of this wonderful commander league that I visited uh, last month. Got some great ideas coming. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We're doing pack openings for patrons next week, and we've got a lot of videos incoming here. If you've got any ideas, thoughts, feedback on this particular deck, leave them in the comments. I'm going to be doing a lot more EDH videos over the next few months. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.